The rest of the news, Wednesday Heights, Dan Earhart. And today's Google Doodle is being called maybe the best ever. A working Moog synthesizer you play with your mouse and keyboard on the computer to honor the birthday of Robert Moog, May 23rd, 1934. The very same day that Bonnie and Clyde met their end as they drove a stolen Ford Deluxe through Bienville Parish, Louisiana. Clyde Barrow always stole Fords, all with the iconic blue oval logo. Yesterday, Ford got that logo out of pawn. They put it up as collateral in 2006 for a big loan that helped the company survive the Great Recession without a government bailout. Half of all Britons now use alternatives to the handshake. They consider it too formal or outdated and unhygienic. So now they hug or go to the Continental kiss on the cheek. Among Robin Gibbs' very last words were, I wish Mo were here. I can't believe he is gone. Mo is Robin's twin, Maurice. He had the same disease. Survivor Barry lives in Miami, and he's now in London with their mother, Barbara. She lives there. She's 92. Robin requested, How Deep Is Your Love? be the first song played at his funeral, which will be at St. Paul's Cathedral. Johnny Depp has accepted an invitation from the Comanche Indians, and he has been initiated into the tribe. The request came from the tribe as a result of Depp's role as Tonto in The Lone Ranger, which opens next week at a theater near you. Picture posted at the Rest of the News Facebook page. A big story on the regular news today is how Facebook stock keeps falling and falling. The prop-up opening day price last Friday was 38 bucks a share. This morning, it's down to below 32 Warren Buffett has said the intrinsic value of the stock is $9.59. The rest, just hype. The state of Massachusetts has now issued a subpoena to Morgan Stanley Brokerage, and some of the new shareholders are even suing Facebook. Looks like they should have listened to Warren Buffett. But wait, there's more. Smart man Zuckerberg sold his 30.2 million shares for a payday of $1.13 billion. And the mass sell-off is called a day trader's paradise. And don't even think about shorting the stock. It's close to impossible. It's a total cluster with one financial columnist saying it could even bring down the whole economy. But on a more realistic level, there's a real feeling that Facebook's best days may be in the past. Ah, but hoping to salvage the whole mess, today there's a major announcement that Facebook is working on a redesign of the oh-so-unpopular timeline. Hello, MySpace. The United States Library of Congress has announced 25 new pieces of music to be preserved, sort of forever. Today's editions include Parliament's 1975 funk album, Mothership Collection, and Leonard Bernstein's debut performance with the New York Philharmonic. In North Korea, Aha's Hunting High and Low has been added to the set list of the country's most famous accordion quintet. All five of them love that 80s music. But hey, who doesn't? Picture posted on the rest of the news Facebook page, and last week's page views were up 153%. Thank you, and tune in tomorrow. This is Dan Earhart.